Hi, I'm Kathy from Art Projects for Kids and today I've created a new drawing video to show you how to draw a rainbow. The project comes from my website, Art Projects for Kids, which I hope becomes your favorite place for finding easy step-by-step -step drawing lessons. Over the years it has helped millions of kids learn how to draw. So please check out my videos and if you like them, hit that subscribe button that's up in the corner. It always helps me make more of these. So let's get on to drawing that rainbow. You know, sometimes it's fun to draw things a little closer than you usually would. If you draw about three quarters of a rainbow instead of the whole thing, you can make thicker stripes and a more interesting composition. Before you begin your drawing, you need to collect your art supplies, a sheet of drawing paper, pencil, black marker, and crayons. To follow along with a printed set of directions, this rainbow tutorial can be downloaded for free from my website. Before you begin your drawing, it helps to make some guidelines on your paper. By folding and creasing your paper in half in both directions, you'll have guidelines that match my tutorial. Step number one, draw a horizon line near the bottom of the paper. I'm going to curve mine just a bit. Step number two, mark where the top of the rainbow starts and stops. Connect the marks with a nice large curve. Step number three, Draw a second curve underneath the first, trying to make it as even as you can. Then add the third curve below with the same width. Step number four, add a fourth curve below the third, and then a fifth curve below that. Step number five, add a sixth curve, still trying to make them all as even as possible, and then a seventh curve below the sixth. Finally, an eighth curve below finishes off the rainbow. Don't worry if the stripes are not perfect. A hand-drawn rainbow is what we are going for here. Step number six. Now you can add some bushes behind the rainbow. Step number seven. To decorate the grass below, add about three large flowers on the right side. Then add about three large ones on the left with a few leaves in between. Step number eight. Here's a fun and easy way to draw the side view of a butterfly. And here's an easy way to draw the front view of a butterfly. And finally, a couple of clouds will really brighten up the sky. Step number nine. It's time to start tracing your rainbow drawing. Remember, working slowly will always help you be more accurate. And when you're done tracing, it's a really good time to erase any extra pencil lines that you still see. And now for the coloring. I'm going to follow the Roy B. Give model that's been around for a while. So the letter R stands for red. Next comes the letter O for orange. Remember to press hard to get lots of color. Next, the letter Y starts for the color yellow. This color always needs a little extra pressure so it really shows up. Next, the letter G stands for green. The letter B stands for the color blue. I'm using a lighter blue here to blend with the rest of my palette. The letter I stands for the color indigo. It also looks like a darker blue color. And the last letter V stands for the color violet. Next, all those flowers can share some of those fun rainbow colors. Just be sure to save the light green for that background grass color. That light green color is bound to show off all those pretty flowers. Be sure to take your time going around all of those flower edges. Next, those background bushes can be a darker green so they look different than the grass. I'm happy that I have all these pretty shades of green to choose from. Next, black marker spots on the butterflies are easy to do and create lots of contrast. And here comes the light blue for the sky, which will really help my rainbow stand out. I really like how those white clouds are helping to brighten up my drawing. Oh, and don't forget to color those butterflies. Just about any color at all will work just great for them. And there is my favorite way to draw a rainbow. I love how much color these flowers and butterflies add to my drawing. It really adds up to one very pretty and colorful picture. 
Hey, thanks for following along with me, and I hope you've enjoyed this drawing video tutorial. I have even more tutorials just like this one on my website, Art Projects for Kids, including how to draw a tulip and how to draw sunflowers. I really hope you have a chance to try them out.